best way to deal with trolls is to just say thank you. Hear me out. I refuse to go back and forth with trolls on this channel, mostly because it's not okay to punch down. I mean, they're usually victims of some sort of mental or physical abuse. They're just transferring their pain. By engaging with them, you allow them the opportunity to feed their monster. It is best to be curt and kind. Show them respect and acknowledgement but give them nothing more. By not going back and forth with the troll, by not feeding them new material to poke you with, they starve. The fact that they can't engage with you will bother them. And in this way, you are mounting and dominating them by living rent-free in their head. But trolls come in other forms as well. Sensitive, overwoke folk can be trolls too. I very much consider myself a woke person. I'm not perfect. I'm as much a hypocrite as the next person. And we all are hypocrites. I wouldn't call myself a liberal or a conservative. I'm more of a centrist, though I tend to lean left. But the problem with overwoke folk is that they end up attacking their allies. What I mean by this, my opinion is that these overwoke folk have been abused by their parents and or people that they love. So much so that they're looking to punish anyone who doesn't get a pronoun right or makes a joke at their expense. Humor seems to be completely lost on these people. Roasting a group of people is okay. When someone roasts the handicapped, I do not get offended. It's all about their intent and the context of the joke. Finding the funny and or ridiculous in one's group is what allows us to break down the barriers, to simply laugh at our ridiculousness, to see that stereotypes, they're a real thing. It can be funny doesn't have to be hateful. And it's okay to laugh at them sometimes. We need to look at the intent and context of things. But because these people have been treated bad and held down for so long, they jump down the throats of the people who would normally stand as their ally. This ends up hurting their cause. People are not always gonna talk appropriately. It's human nature to error. Being a hypocrite and holding people to standards that are not only unrealistic for them, but for yourself as well, it's not only illogical, but it's petty. Now, if you act like a bigot, post spam, or something worse, I'll simply delete that shit. But rude comments and hateful criticism will be met with a thank you and nothing more. And for the record, criticism is welcome. And I'll use the critiques in a manner which I see fit. My channel, so uh, yeah. Now, some people might say, why say thank you to someone being rude in the comments? And my answer is simple. It's extremely dominant. Almost as if to say, Sorry, troll, you're too small to ride. The beauty of it, it's only two words. Two very respectful, powerful, and dominant words. And they're words that trolls can't recover from. You see, a troll can't hurt you if you don't give them material to work with. And it's very important to respect yourself and remember the need to be kind. No one is perfect, but we can always put in the effort. And we can always be better. I mean, it's easy to be a fucker McFucklestein. 
but way more satisfying to establish dominance. So again, kiddos, the best way to deal with trolls, just say thank you. That's not arrogance, it's observation.